Do not buy the Sally Hansen. Buy the Nair for face. isn't exactly the best angle ever but i'm finally getting back to my spring summer reset it's supposed to be for spring to go into summer but now we are full in summer it is 90 degrees today it is hot it's supposed to be like 90 the rest of the week what better time than now to get on top of my reset stuff because i need some help if you can see i tested out doing my um tan tour again and i like how i do it so much better i saw someone say to like keep in mind that like the way that you're applying the tanner should actually look like how you would leave your house with contour on and ever since i keep that in the back of my mind i feel like i'm doing a lot better of a job and it's lasting so i am gonna do that i will probably do it tomorrow though or tonight later tonight because i want to scrub my skin i'm going to redo my eyebrows so just like take these little parts off just fix them up a little bit i did take the hair off my skin and don't look at I, I was cutting my bangs i took the little fuzz like off my skin look you can see the, tan, the contour tan tour but i didn't have sorry i was sick again i didn't have nair so i used the sally hansen one that stuff does not work do not buy the sally hansen buy the nair for face i could have used the body nair but i've done that before and it really burnt my skin so i was like we're just gonna give sally one more chance and she failed again so I threw it away. I need to get more of the nair for the face, but I took the hairs off regardless. Let it sit on there forever. And then I had to use like one of those little razors. I hate doing that because usually it makes you break out, but this time it didn't. So that's done. I did my nails. Um, I feel like I mentioned my nails in my vlog, but I did do press on nails. These are probably gonna be what I do at least for a while now because I really like the result. I've showered in these. I've put oil in my hair and like massaged it in with these on. They're still there. I've washed dishes multiple times. They're still on. I've been in a hot shower, okay? They're still on. I've cleaned, I've actually knocked the tips and I thought it was gonna take it off. They're still on. This is definitely gonna be, I'm trying to hide stuff in the back. Sorry, the Bowflex is there because I need to move it out, but yeah. These are the Kiss press on nails. They don't look as good right now. This one did actually come off because I knocked it too many times. I do have them on, like they're short. They've grown out a teeny tiny bit. If you can kind of see, it's trying to focus on my face. If you can kind of see they have grown out a little teeny tiny bit, but they look so good. This is gonna be my new go-to thing. So my nails are done. Um, I've taken the little peachy fuzz off my skin. I need to do my brows, which I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna do that now. And then we are going to do my lashes. I only just realized like just how bad oh sorry just how many hairs right here like i really am overdue to like fix my brows also i think i took off too much so i did my brows took too much off of this one but it's okay because i am going to do some tinting of them or whatever so it's it's okay i moved the bowflex out to there <laughs> just to there i don't know how much of the because i was cutting those bangs so i have like little hairs all over my face now so i just need to make sure that i don't have them in my lashes because the next thing that i'm going to do is going to be my lashes i think even though i really should wash my face first because I want to do a nice scrub and then that way I'm sweating that way I can clean my lashes also first because I usually like cleaning my lashes first the fan sitting there you can see it moving right there but it's still hot in here but now I'm drinking bone broth because I'm supposed to be getting back on my keto so that's another thing we're gonna get into for this reset video I'm keto not only because I'm on keto but also because I'm trying to get over my sinus infection um so I just have bone broth and then in it I put the biggest glob of gochujang i don't know if i'm saying that right the korean hot sauce it's 
so good. And then it's got some ghee in it and I did add a little bit of red pepper flakes just cause I'm crazy. But this is like scorching hot, mainly to like help cleanse myself out. So there's my brows. We are now, I'm gonna do my skincare first. I'm in the bathroom so that I can wash my face. I'm gonna put on my little, little guard thingy. Since I'm gonna be tanning my face, I wanna like really exfoliate it really well. I'm like, before I take the hair, let's see. I have like those little hairs from the bangs. So I'm going in first with just this Cetaphil cleanser. It's just simple, plain, and I'm just really going to massage that into my skin really nicely. Then I want to make sure my skin is super clean, so I'm using the Yes2 scrub. This is seriously one of my all-time favorite scrubs. I feel like it's like gentle enough, but I feel like it's really detoxifying. I kind of dropped some when I opened up the lid. Um, but yeah, I love this stuff. Sometimes it's a little hard to get out of there because you have to like twist the cap to like get it to actually come out. I love though how it feels on my skin. <laughs> Even though it looks kind of nasty but it feels so nice as it's like gently really nicely um, scrubbing my skin I love the S2 products though so love it I like to go in with another cleanser after I scrub my skin. This again, yes too. I love, I love the scent of this watermelon. It just puts me in such a good mood. But I usually like cleansing my skin after I scrub it because I feel like I've just scrubbed any like dirt, oil, <laughs> impurities. I feel like that's so like professional to say impurities, but ew, lots of bubbles there from trying to breathe but I cleanse again just to make sure my skin's really nice and clean and this one smells so good now it is time to do my lashes finally As you can see I washed off the tan for the most part I feel like there's just a teeny tiny bit there um because I scrubbed like use a scrubbed used a scrub to really clear my skin since I was going to redo the tan right now I'm going to do my lashes finally I honestly I hate without my lashes now i hate to say it here we are i moved in to here to do my lashes because i want to watch netflix as i do them here's my lashes before cool so i'm using these lashes that i got from amazon i'm kind of mixing some i think i'm mixing like two different packs this time maybe to like get my like perfect lashes that i've been liking lately Going in with my falscara, we're just going to use the bond side first after I curl my lashes just a little bit to make sure that the lashes sit right. It's a little difficult to open this one and I thought that I had broken it. The little thing that um, like squeezes the brush off some to like clean it is, oh, did I get back? Oh, I got it back. It was like up at the top. Okay, anyway, let's move on. So I just like to start on my outer lashes first, going in with the bond, and then just grabbing the longer lashes that I want to put on at the outer corner. I just feel like it's easier to work out and then to the inner corner of my eye last because sometimes I don't necessarily like need lashes like right up in the corner of my eye, the inner corner of my eye, but I want to make sure that I position the lashes like perfectly on my outer corner because I feel like when I don't, a lot of times that's what really makes my eyes look droopy and I don't like my lashes looking droopy 
and I'm just making sure to squeeze them after I apply them. I take the tweezers and kind of like squeeze them together to make sure that the false lashes are sticking fully to my real lashes. So there's one eye done. And then I go in with the seal, put that on my tweezers and I'll squeeze the lashes together here. I like to put the seal on the tweezers so the tweezers don't get stuck. And here is one eye completely done. You can already see what a difference it makes. And then again, going in with the seal on the bottom just to make sure that there's no sticky residue that might get my bottom lashes stuck. And here is the finished ones. I just kind of clean it up. Is it weird that I feel like when I have my lashes done, my eyes look darker? I don't know why. Did they? But so here's the finished lashes. I feel so much better. I feel like myself again. My skincare that I did the other day is the exact same because I want to make sure that I like prep my skin. I only did a few hours with my pores to kind of close and didn't add anything to my face afterwards. My lashes are done. Okay, so this is the best lighting. Put this one first. This one's second. Brushes that I use or that I keep handy. So I have this one. I don't know which one this is. This one, but real techniques. Be even da. I just use this for my retainer. I need a fill. There. I like being able to like see well in the hairline. Because you want it to blend into the hairline. Okay, so I'm going in with the lighter one first and a really small beauty blender or beauty sponge, whatever. And I'm going to start adding this to my cheekbones. I try to go up pretty high just to keep like a lifted look, I guess. The only thing that really is not the best about the self tanner that I'm using right now is that when I put it on my skin I literally cannot see it at all um, so that's why too I kind of try my best to not add too much but <laughs> sometimes I do um, and that's what's gonna happen in this video um, so yeah if you're gonna use the same thing um, be mindful not adding too much now I'm going in with a little brush. I'm going in with a mix of the brush and the sponge because I can kind of see a little bit more where this is actually at on my skin with the brush since it kind of sits on the top of my skin for a second. And then I can blend it in with either the brush or blend it in more with the blender. But I'm really making sure to get this like on my ears a little bit and in my hairline down my jaw and underneath my chin some to try and make it all kind of blend together and look seamless and as effortless as I possibly can make it look. I like to take just a little bit down my nose also. I only do this sometimes because I feel like it's really easy to like mess this up and make it look bad. Um, I try to go in with a light hand and then I use like a q-tip to go straight down the middle of my nose to try to clean any of that off. Um, I don't always do this I did it today because um, I really went overboard today but as you'll see. <laughs> so adding more. I think this is now like the second or third layer that I'm doing all this go and with this color and um, yeah just blending, 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 making sure to blend my forehead 
and just making sure to go into my hairline as much as possible also so that it kind of looks similar and then after that we'll go into dark color now this one is kind of scary um you know hopefully i got this one you can see it's much darker <laughs> i got this one though because it says it's supposed to like not come out orange um which sometimes it's fine um but mixing it with another one like i have done here sometimes cause it to go orange anyway um this one though is a little bit better since it is darker you can see what it is on your skin and i'm using the brush first so i can really lay like a harsh line um and then i will go in and blend it out but i like seeing where i'm laying it down first and i used too much though so don't take what i'm doing here as what to do honestly sometimes i will be honest sometimes i do go overboard i mean i blend it out but it's like um it is so very easy to go overboard especially since the first color that i use um it shows up like later like it gets gradually darker like I said I should have stopped um, right before this so I didn't do the thing that I'm supposed to do and that is remember that the way that it looks as I'm doing it should look like my normal contour would look as I'm walking out the house so if it looks crazy while I'm applying it it's going to end up looking crazy and I forgot that part and I just kept going because the one that I applied first, like I said, it's a gradual tan, like it gradually gets darker, so it's hard to see. You should really step away, and I did not do that. I just kept adding and adding and adding, and then I, um, you can already see it going overboard. I don't know why I did not stop. I don't know, and then I even went in with the lighter one again and thought that that was a good idea, um, and I can't tell you what came over me to think that it was a good idea and I'm still excited about it for some reason when I'm looking at it like yeah this is good it's looking good it is looking good but it wasn't and I should notice that too when I start to clean it up right here <laughs> I can't I, I, I have no more words for that but so we're gonna move on to the teeth um I brush my teeth regularly away um, but then I'm going to go in with the Lumina, is that how it's pronounced? It's uh, supposed to be like a healthier teeth whitening products. So I'm going to go in with the whitening toothpaste first. Just brush my teeth like a normal person, I don't know. Um, and I'm also using this bamboo toothbrush that came with it. It was like all a set that I had gotten. And I'm making a mess as I brush my teeth. Yes, I am. Um, and I'm mainly focusing though on the front teeth what you see when you smile you know um for this it did not taste good i have to say that it didn't taste good um then i'm going in with my floss picks i have a permanent retainer so i'm not able to floss normally between those two teeth or four teeth on the bottom and then going in with the um floss pick is just easier for me especially when i have nails on and lastly <laughs> besides make a mess is to do the mouthwash which is also a whitening mouthwash and I think I did that for like a minute and then we got rid of it and again it didn't taste good but I liked how my teeth felt afterwards so it's the next day I wanted to show you guys what it looks like like after it's um developed overnight you can really see right there I didn't do a good job I definitely went a lot heavier than I did the other day and I realized it was like perfect but I haven't washed it off yet um I did decide that oh it's a little crazy right there too I did decide though that I want to like tint or really do the same thing for my eyebrows. I'm using the, I'm going to use the Ardell, um, like brow tint or whatever it's called, but I want to show you guys this result first. There's a cat coming in here. Yeah, under there's a little scary. 
but it should dim down a little bit when I wash it. Don't look at all my mess behind me. Let's see who is that that came in here. I bet you it's Loki. But so I going to set up to do my brows. I just want to basically give myself a little bit more of a tail and maybe fill in the front just a teeny bit. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully I don't go too overboard like I did with this. So I'm going to be doing my brows, just going in to my little caboodle. I keep it all in, mix it all together. Here's the day before for my brows. So fingers crossed. Here's Loki. Um, just making sure that it's mixed together well. I started with using the spatula because I know that using like the little spoolie just doesn't work well for me. So I'm grabbing this little wet and wild brush that I got from Dollar Tree. It's so very affordable. And then I'm just going to start adding this to my brows. I add it to all of my brows most of the time because it's going to come out a lot lighter than what it looks like, you know? It looks gross. I think I also actually didn't add enough of the developer this time, which is why it was a little chunky like that, but I just started going with my natural shape. Um, I try to do both of them kind of like at the same time. So like if I do the tail on one side, I do the tail on the other one. Um, so it stays even and like uh, time-wise, timing-wise, it's kind of even for both of them. I try my best to make them look like the sisters, twins, okay? I like mine looking like twins, okay? Um, doesn't always happen. That's like the goal, right? Already scared of what was happening. I decided to add freckles and um, instant regret because I should have used something way smaller. Like it would have been cute if I had the brush, but I kind of committed to just messing it up, I guess. Because um, there was really no going back once I did it. Like I said, instant regret and looking at everything all together was very scary for me. Okay, so I did them too large. Um, I never should have done that. I never should have done it. I never should have done any of those little dots. I'm gonna wash my face now. I don't know if my eyebrows have been on for long enough though, but... <laughs> I really don't know if this has been on long enough. I think it has. <laughs> Great. Cats are in here at my feet. We should use this. It's still kind of fresh. I don't really do anything crazy with my skincare. Like nothing too oily. I use like a water moisturizer. I might use some um, hyaluronic acid with just um, the water spritzed first. It's like really subtle, right? Calm down. Just, I have real freckles. What did I do that for? Never again. Okay, I learned my lesson. Just water. I love this thing now. I love this now. Why did I just dry my face first and then just add more water? I don't know. I'm gonna do this. And here we are again, washing my face, again with the Cetaphil because it's just a pretty plain cleanser, nothing too oily or anything about it, it's not too intense of a cleanser, 
going in with some like pretty simple moisturizer. I got this as like a little freebie tester. I actually like it. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I do. Going down my neck because I'm really trying to focus on those lines on my neck right now. Fresh look of after washing everything off, so it's bedtime. The music is really giving me anxiety right now, but I don't feel like changing it. Um, but here I am now. <laughs> Why is it like that? Braiding. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> the music, but I'm just braiding my hair for bedtime. Um, this is like my protective go-to style for sleeping. Helps keep my curls looking nice for the next day when I take them out. And it's cute. It's easy to sleep in. It's not uncomfortable to sleep with. So. Yeah, these are just my normal curls. I don't think I can add really anything to my hair. Sometimes I keep my hair braids from literally any and all products. Probably too crazy, but yeah. Just braid, 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 braid. The only thing I will say about the braids is I try to switch how I'm like parting those, if that makes sense. Like in the front along my hairline so that it's not constantly pulling on the same spots. Yeah, all good to go, ready for bed after destroying self-tanner on my face.